In this video, I will be showing you my Pioneer RT909 Open Reel Tape Recorder. This is an especially unique piece of gear because it was never sold in black. This example has been anodized and the quality of the finishes are exceptional. Follow along as I take you on a small tour of this piece of gear, including sample audio played back at the two different speeds. All of the background music in this video was captured from the 909 for an authentic experience. Before diving into the demo, I will share with you the story of how this particular example came into my possession. After some research into reel-to-reel -reel recorders, I had my heart set on the Pioneer RT909. It would fit perfectly on my shelf, has fantastic reviews, great features, and is an all-around good-looking unit. There's only one catch, it only comes in silver. Then I spotted this auction for this beautiful unit in black but local pickup in Los Angeles only. I waffled on whether I should spend a small fortune on this piece of gear and whether the five hour drive would be worth it from the San Francisco Bay Area, and ultimately decided that I had to have it. A friend of mine invited himself along for the ride too, which was great. We crushed the drive down I-5 towards Los Angeles and eventually met up with the seller. After exchanging pleasantries and a quick demo, we had the unit in the car and headed back to the Bay Area with a quick stop for some barbecue along the way. Finally, I had the deck in my living room and was ready to enjoy it. So let's dive into the tour. This is an auto reversing recorder that is compatible with either seven or 10 and a half inch reels through an NAB hub adapter. It has fluoroscan displays for the level meter and tape counter, which fit in well with my other hi-fi components. This is a truly beautiful piece of gear that was designed in the late 70s. I won't take you through every single feature as there are plenty of online manuals that present it better than I can, even Techmoan has a video about this unit. But I will give you a comparison of audio quality with a brand new ATR tape. The tapes were both created and recorded with my solid state recorder. Here is some playback of Adobe stock music at three and three quarters inches per second, which is the lowest play speed supported by this deck. As you can hear, the audio quality is very good. I'm using a very high quality master tape from ATR, which is one of the two remaining companies who produces new tape for these old machines. Here is playback at seven and a half inches per second. The main difference that probably won't come through on YouTube is that the surface hiss of the tape is significantly reduced on the higher speed. As you can hear, the quality is quite excellent at both speeds. It helps to use a high quality ATR master tape, which is itself quite expensive. There is something special about manually lacing up the tape and watching the reels go round and round, especially when paired with a nice whiskey.
Well, I hope you enjoyed this demonstration of a really interesting piece of technology. These Pioneer RT909 were insanely popular in their day back in the late 70s, early 80s, and they're still popular to this day. They look fantastic, they work really well, the audio quality is phenomenal, and just everything about them is really, really nice. This unit in particular is extremely unique. The black anodizing, the reproduction of the silk screen, the red inlays on the dials, a lot of attention to detail has gone into this unit. And if you didn't notice, there's even a wood grain cabinet on the outside, which isn't something that normally comes with these. So I'm really proud to have it in my collection along with some other hi-fi components here. I've got some more behind the camera. I'm kind of a, a nerd for this stuff. I just really enjoy it. I always have since I was a kid. I'm hoping to do a video tour in the future, but I'm waiting on a couple of last components before I decide to show it to the world. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more from me, I've got a bunch of other videos on my channel. A few of them are about hi-fi stuff and some of them are just about other making thing projects. I really just like technology and so if you want to see more, feel free to check those out. Subscribe if you want to see videos from me in the future. And if you like this one, drop a like. It really motivates me to do this more. Well, that's all I've got for now. And so with that, I will see you next time.